फ्रेंड्स वी आर एट चित्रदुर्गा फोर्ट चित्रदुर्गा फोर्ट इज वेरी स्ट्रांग फोर्ट एंड वेरी बिग फोर्ट इन प्लेस कॉल चित्रदुर्गा इन कर्नाटका वेन यू ड्राइव फ्रॉम बेलगवी टूअर्ड बेंगलोर एंड यू स्टार्ट सीइंग स्टोन्स ऑफ डिफरेंट साइज एंड शेप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड अदर थिंग then you are sure you have reached at chitradurga this fort internal area is 2500 acres and it is spread on seven hills that is the reason it is called ulusutina kote or fort of seven hills look at the walls of the fort chitradurga fort Seven fort circles. Seven fort circles are there. This is the third gate. We are there, and these are all made in granite stone. It was built by Naika. Naika. 1568. 1568 of this region. They were chieftain of the Vijayanagaram kingdom. So 1568 started the Manna Naika. Okay. With the fort, the Naika. They say, what are the local king Samantaraj? Main king Krishna Dev Ramti. Ampi full rushed after Nayaka is independent king, Sudant Raj. Guide is explaining about the Nayaka family of Chitradurga. It had seven layer of fortification, nineteen gateways, thirty eight western gates, thirty five secret entrances, and four with invisible entrances. Many of them have now in ruined or damaged state this zigzag path what we have walked now takes us to the third layer fortification door first and second layer fortification now inside the city of chitradurga you can see the complete layout of the fort and information given here on this board our guide is try to explain about this gate it had two entrances one small and one big big had arrangement of door and locking let's go and see inside how was the hinges for locking the door they were all made in the stone see how strong is the construction and side is the small door for normal people to pass look at the top door securing hinges how they were put in the wall it seems they had advanced technology to cut the stones of granite sandstone and erect such huge strong forts now we are on top of the watch tower near this third layer gate and you can see the zigzag path how it is made for approach to this gate below you can see water tanks all the water coming from the hills was collected in the wells and many lakes form around they were self sufficient in water also all around between second and third layer they had water trench look at the beautiful view and strong walls around from this watch tower if you go further you can see how they used to cut the long beams of the stones and used for construction of the walls Fifteenth century. Fifteenth century. Now tell us how all will is formed the tax the color of the tank oil, cash, troll, neem are used for the lamps. This is a big single rock. There are. Uh -huh. There are. Here, what you are seeing, cut inside the stones, are big tanks, and these tanks were used for collecting oil for the lamps and for other purpose. This oil. was collected as taxes from the people and kept here this is a single rock cut 10 feet deep and see how big it is used for storing the oil <laughs> the watchman stay in the place okay. just stay guards keeping watch on this oil tanks were staying in this cave here you can see the example of how they used to cut big rocks two different sizes and shapes history of this hills takes us back to mahabharata because this was called 
हिडिंबा वना हिडिंबा द डेमॉन वॉज किल्ड बाय भीमा यू कैन सी ऑन द वॉल द डेंट्स मेड बाय बम्बानबेट मेड बाय हैदर अली इन सेवनटीन सेंचुरी वी आर एट फोर्थ गेट ऑफ चित्रदुर्ग and this is called virbhadreshwara the fort was built in stages between 11th and 13th centuries by the rulers of the region including the chalukyas and hoyslas later the naikas of chitradurga of vijayanagara empire strengthened the forts during 15th and 16th century there is virbhadra temple behind this or growth but no one goes there now what you see on the right side is the palace of king katappa naik for your information most of the fortification temples and all these walls were built during naika period from 15th to 17th century they were local rulers under vijayanagara kingdom but afterward they declared themselves kings here also we can see some signs of stone cutting arrangement made that time what we see is the fifth layer of fortification and near the gate you can see this tall watch towers near the fifth gate there is mandapam or one hall that is dedicated for the brave animals like elephant and horses their statues were kept here these brave animals might have lost their life for their honors place is called dal mandapa many of them are now in a broken state might have been damaged by the invaders we are at fifth gate named ganesha gate look at the stones used for construction of these walls and other structures on this fort the stone beams are very long up to 20 feet and see the width and height of those beams everywhere you see same type of construction this is the gate which is at higher level from the ground water is taken from all this upper level and collected between third and second layer of fortification also that was diverted to many places for use you can see the water drainage arrangement here look at the zigzag path taking us toward gate and the surrounding was so strongly built that it was not possible to enter the fort here our guide is showing us how much thickness was there of the wooden door what beam you see there that is 2 feet width wooden door fitted was also of 2 feet thickness there was arrangement to receive this door at top and bottom you can see the hinges near the gates there is arrangement for guards to rest that is called devdi in marathi this is similar arrangement what you see in the forts across the sayadri in maharashtra there were bells fitted here to alert everyone if one if someone try to come inside in front of this gate there is a tall tower for housing the guns here you can have a look at animal figures drawn on this stone structure this is similar to what we had in bimbitka caves the figure of fox like animal and bull can be seen on these stones Two thousand year old drawing. We are near number six gate of the fort, and what ruins you see were actually the palace buildings and soldiers' living quarters of that time. This is sixth gate of the fort. What you see in the wall is the arrangement 
for keeping oil lamps. This massive fort was built over the span of six to seven hundred years, and actual construction might have been started thousands years back. It has an influence of Chalukya, Oshayala, Vijayanagaram, Naik, and Islamic architecture of Tipu Sultan time. This gate is the example of that, named after Naika King Kasturi Rangappa. This gate has all Oshayala type of construction, and the pillars are like Chalukya era. This gate is made like a temple, and where she is sitting, maybe the place where the deities were kept. Also, the top part of the watch towers, and on top of this gate, are built in a Islamic style. So there is complete mixture. You can feel that we have come to the temple. Let us go and see. There are many deities here. Here you can see the Ganesha on the door, where you see this in most of the Maharashtra forts doors, and see the design of both frames, how they have been molded out of stone. Here you can see the Kalasha, that was also symbol of Hoshiyalas. Once in inside, you can see the pillars of square type of Chalukya type. Our guide explained us. This is a Narsiya Vara Swami, third incarnation of God Vishnu, and other side of the pillar, you see the actual Varaha or boar. Look at the wall. There are two elephants facing each other, and top of that, there is symbol of Oishla King. He is fighting with lion, and side of that also there is one warrior going on the horse. Our guide told us. The guards used to play some games on these stones. Kalash, this is a kalash made on this. You can tell. I will take. This is Nataraja. Nataraja. Ganesh. Ganesh. Garuda Anjaniya. Garuda Anjaniya. Flag symbol. Panna gar flag symbol. Garuda Anjaniya. Okay. Garuda means Anjaniya means Mahu Bali. Ah, Bajrang Bali. Bajrang Bali. Bajrang. Anuman. 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 Other side, you can see. This man is beating the drum, and side of that, other side, there is a lady dancer. Below that, there are some flower designs. Here, he seems to be dancer or some god. Here is Kalasha, and many small small design you can see. This is a mythological animal, and the lion on this. Can be seen on the flag of Sri Lanka. So, Oshiyala kings symbol. Here, on this plate, you can see two fish are facing each other. But look at the bottom frame of this stone. And on the top, below the roof, you can see the Gajalakshmi. So, it is very fascinating and. We don't know how much time they took, and they made it like a temple. This is the view of Chitra Durga from the top of sixth gate watchtower. Top construction looks like Islamic. Opening were for arrow and bow, or for the rifles to fire. This is footprint. Of Ard Nari Nareshwar or Shiv Parvati, and they were worshipped by Naika kings of Chitra Durga. Look at the stone beams placed on in this wall. They are more than twenty feet long. Chain pulley system. Okay. We don't know how they were placing it on top of one another. And how they were able to cut such a long beams? Look, this complete building is made with such long beams. This is called Jimkhana. All this takes us back thousands of years, and also it feels like a wonderland we are moving in. Here, this side, 
there is a small opening to go inside the gymnasium but we don't know how this was used as a gymnasium side of that there is explanation about how the stones of various sizes were cut to the size and there is a one stone side of this board showing this this is ancient ganesh temple look at the pillars beams and base of this temple how nicely it is made that time if you are wondering why this is called chitra durga then look at the shape of this stones there are various forms sides and looking like objects animals and other things that is the reason this is called chitra durga or picture is for you can see the elephant behind or there is a crocodile and if you look up there is loot like a rabbit or garuda and other animals and birds this is seventh gate of chitradurga fort and this is called eknateshwari gate inside there is a temple of eknateshwari you can see this gate is also strongly built up to now we have started from number 3 gate and reached the final gate from this side that is called eknateshwari it has also have strong watch towers both the sides and there are come come here rooms for the guards to rest there is no design seen on the pillars but it is strongly built like other gates here what our guide is trying to show and you see in front is a unique example pujari house pujari house this is a royal swing and two pillars and arrangement for attaching the swing is there on top now the swing is not there and in front of that there is a deep stamba very tall Okay. we are at the seventh gate after the seventh gate if you look this side there is a deep stump deep stump is there and this side jhula big jhula for the god or maybe used all time by the kings look at the strong construction and how tall it is this swing used by royal family and when we go further toward the deep stamba can understand how they were securing two stones with iron rods here is the example of that this is like a resting place for royal family because the palace of kankamba naiki the naika queen was nearby there is a well it is called step well and it is so nicely made you can see the steps how from the four side they have made for going down this is the temple of eknateshwari but the murti of goddess is not there in the temple this massive ruins of the buildings you see on this fort where actually the administrative office during the naika period inside it had a treasury raj darbar other official buildings and palaces for the royal families we are inside the naika office or mint and here what you see like a strong room was actually a secret place for keeping the money and other valuables let us go and and have a look at what is there inside once inside you can see the complete building even top is made out of stone and underground there is a deep well like structure is cut now you don't see anything inside only some bottles and plastic thrown but that time this place was used for hiding 
the ornaments and whatsoever money and valuables they had top was sealed and goddess or god murti was kept on top so as to look like a temple look at the massive structure they have built that time it is said that hyder ali yielded a rich bounty from the treasure at this fort passing through the perfect path through this picture perfect stones and hills around we have reached the ponds called sister ponds hyder ali was able to take over this fort in his fourth attempt and the naika king madakari naika the fifth was captured and killed by hyder ali he had two wives named padma angadi and bandama angadi they ended their life camping into this lake that is reason this is called sister lake or sati talab such a beautiful place but sad story as per the history the local muslim subordinate of madkari naika supported hyder ali and hyder ali was able to take over this chitradurga fort now we have reached back end of the fort back side have two gates entry for this fort moving out from the second gate which was also strongly built like other gates has all these watch towers and strong doors now we are heading for onke obama kindi and first gate small opening at the corner is called kindi and it is named after onke obama this brave lady was the wife of a guard and one day she saw hyder ali's soldiers are trying to come inside one by one she killed around 30 soldiers using one k or wooden pestle that is reason this is called one k oba walking you can watch my other vlog where in detail i have explained about one k oba she is considered as brave lady and her samadhi is there near the one k oba walkindi passing through this stone formations tall and strong fortification walls watch towers temples and many other things which you don't see anywhere else this chitradurga fort is a must visit place and it will take you back into time and plus you will feel that you are passing through the wonderland it was a nice track of this chitradurga i will be posting my next video where we will start from the back side gate and go up to the front gates there are many thing more to explore like and subscribe my youtube channel namrataj polsam mantra and thanks for watching my video keep watching namrataj polsam mantra for more videos